Hi and a big welcome to Steve's Kitchen, a big Halloween welcome to Steve's Kitchen. I managed to get the pumpkin, uh, that's me and that's the pumpkin. Anyway guys, they are really expensive. I don't know if you guys have been ripped off in the shops but these things are so expensive so let's have some fun with them. Get the kids involved, enjoy. We're going to not only make a wonderful Halloween jack-o'-lantern carving out of this but we're going to make some wonderful things with what's inside. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is take a knife and we need to cut a hole in the top of our pumpkin. So you're cutting a circle around like that. Not too big. And if the knife is too big you won't be able to get a nice tight circle. And there we are, I've cut the whole top off now. And we can pull that lid out and out comes some of the, the flesh inside. Now whilst we've got that lid we're just going to take our knife and cut off a good portion of the flesh so then our little lid can sit back on top like that after we finish cutting our pumpkin and also any of the flesh you cut off we can just keep that aside pop it into a bowl we're going to be using that for cooking all sorts of things it's really tasty pumpkin so don't waste it now keep all those delicious pumpkin seeds because they are absolutely delicious roasted and I'll show you that a little later on what we'll do with those. Now a great tip for working with pumpkins is an ice cream scoop and I'm just using this now to get the sinuous fibre out of here. It's a sort of um, stringy fibre that we want to get out of the pumpkin. Now before you start carving the design of your pumpkin you've got to make the walls of the pumpkin thinner so we're going to use again the scoop and we're going to scrape out a lot of the flesh from the inside. Now be careful when you're doing this you don't want to go right the way through but you do want to scrape out quite a bit. You can use a scoop or just a regular kitchen spoon and just scoop away at the flesh. As you start to get the flesh out, you can actually feel, if you gently hold your hand, you can feel the inside of the spoon or the scraper, and it will save you going through the walls. Now there's a reason we're doing this, it's not just because we want all that lovely flesh for making all sorts of uh, pumpkin delights, but actually it'll stop the pumpkin from rotting as well. So once you've hollowed out the pumpkin as much as you dare without actually damaging the outside walls, you should have a beautiful big bowl of flesh here and maybe uh, some seeds also which roast up lovely. So most pumpkins have a good side and a bad side. This side oft often lays down on the dirt. Here's our beautiful side here and that's the side I'm going to put the face. You can decide now are you going to get a template? Here's a template that I've uh, got on my website and you can then just sort of sellotape that on there and using some pins you can prick the design into the surface or you can use a sharp pen to uh, make that design onto the surface of your pumpkin or you just draw it on freehand. And there's my design drawn on there. Now don't use a permanent marker, just use a uh, marker that will rub off afterwards otherwise you can spoil the face a little bit. Now I've decided to add pupils in the center. That would be a little more tricky to cut out but uh, it can look good. It's a good effect. Now you've got a few options here. Either use a fairly flexible small knife and just pop the blade in and work around and you've just got to be very patient and careful that you work gently and try to follow the design. Now another thing, many years ago I bought a little, uh, these are little hobby nice and you can get these little saw blades that go onto them. Once you've got your first cut you can pop the little hobby knife inside and using tiny little sawing actions it makes it easier to follow a design and cut towards the designs and then sometimes you might have to take the blade out and cut a, a slightly smaller piece like that and just knock that through. Can you see there? So just work patiently on the design until you've got your whole jack-o'-lantern face cut out. So while you're carving the pumpkin, let's do a bit of multitasking. Take those pumpkin seeds, add a little bit of oil, just about half a tablespoon of oil. We're going to season them with a little salt. And I'm going to add a little paprika also to them. Now preheat an oven at 180 degrees Celsius, that's 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're just going to lay these out on a baking tray. 
and roast them for about 15, 20 minutes until they're golden brown. And there is my jack-o'-lantern. Now guys, a great little tip. If you soak this in a very mild bleach solution, just a little capful of bleach and a bucket of water, that will stop it from rotting quite so quickly. And another great tip is you take a little Vaseline and just rub it around the lid, all the seams and around the, around the eyes. And that'll also stop it from rotting and withering away too quickly. And there, is my jack-o'-lantern. So there you have it guys, my jack-o'-lantern. I'll call him Dave and um, ready for Halloween. So we've got Dave, we've got beautiful roasted pumpkin seeds. Not many in this pumpkin, I don't know why there's not a lot of seeds. Some of them have a lot more seeds in. So what can be finer? I've got my roasted pumpkin seeds, I've got my good mate Dave. What could possibly go wrong? Good night guys. See you in Halloween. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making a Christmas pudding. So we're just gonna serve these meatballs now on a bed of pasta, and we're gonna grate a little bit of Parmesan cheese on there. They smell absolutely divine. We've been making Christmas puddings the year before for the next Christmas. They get stronger and richer and more flavorsome. So let me show you how I'm gonna make